I started painting because I wanted to communicate, and I think I still keep the same uh, the same aim in what I do. I get inspiration when I get moved from anything that is most of the times really close to me, and then uh, the way I work is uh, I know down in a notebook or something because I'm afraid it's, I'm gonna forget it, and that's the reason that a lot of my paintings have a little writing part that is the main idea what I write and then uh, I think about how the image can come up uh, to express that mm. emotion. Yeah actually I think the first time I started to do something that it was not a strictly painting was I made a, like a campaign, a publicity campaign for Coca-Cola in Spain but it, everything happens like a I mean, I was showing my works in an art fair and then this mm -hmm. man from, a, from the publicity company saw it, the advertising, and then proposed me. Mm -hmm. In the beginning I was really afraid and doubting, I didn't know how to work. But uh, at the end it was a really nice experience. And then um, I started to work in the United States first, uh, after I came to Asia for the first time in Korea. And it's already 10 years I'm working, and I had wonderful projects there that um, probably I could not do in Spain because of different ways, different sizes and scales. But I have been making public art, which has been an incredible experience. I have been collaborating with museums and illustrating children books. Um, and then I have been working with fashion also, collaborating. Wow. The world is a constant invitation to look to other places and normally um, we are frightened and then I like to give a kind of a peace look, uh, like a, a way of seeing that you have always nice things around, always, even in the worst situation. So a lot of people tell me, oh your paintings are a little bit like children paintings, but as we have seen this day working with them here, yeah. that to me is something really nice. I mean, we spoiled that innocence of just yes. let your imagination flow and uh, they have this ability to be simple and go directly to what they want to think and they avoid all the things that are just not, not, not important. So I evolved, I started really more Baroque with much more elements, I needed a lot of things to explain, maybe the same. And I'm trying every time to take out more and more elements and make it as simple and as direct to let the message flow easy. Every painting has like a story, an own story I want to say, but also a story of how I'm making it. And there are things that were supposed to be there that at the end are removed, but I try not to remove totally everything. And some of my paintings have this kind of uh, transparency. You can see what was happening there because it's a way of the story of how, what happened till I arrived yeah. to the conclusion that I thought, okay, now it's finished. You can connect or not. I mean, it's really strange. You just pass and you, no, normally, or you really don't like it or you get into it. And people that get into it get to move and in a way give it back to me. So that's the best thing. Yeah, they talk about emotions, about relationships. It's a lot of humanity around. And personally, I think we need things like that. Yeah, that make look to the other with a, a good feeling. Yeah.